Do you think it's going to be loud? Oh, very loud, yeah. Very loud. It will be loud. Oh my God, guys, what are we doing? <laughs> In life, there's many situations and predicaments I find myself in where I'm asking the question, what would Jesus do? Should I continue donating to the American Cat Association? Who's gonna be in my will when I die? And more recently, should I straight pipe my cheap V12 BMW luxury limo? Now, to this last point, I've allocated absolutely no thought at all because the answer is, Yes. It's only really recently that I've actually started listening to this car. And by that I mean the sound that it makes. Because really up until now I've just been sort of enjoying it as a as a luxury limo, so to speak, sort of being driven in the back a few times by like my dad or whatever and just enjoying the sort of the silence the serenity and the, the comfort of it but in a few videos I've filmed recently I've sort of been getting on it a little bit with this car and starting to really try out like the manual mode the sport mode and give it a little bit of the old beans and what I've discovered is that it actually has a really quirky sound to it let me put it in sport mode now uh, actually I'll put it in manual um, these, everyone asks what these silver buttons are. These are to change gear, the silver buttons on the wheel. If you press either of the two on the front, they downshift. And then there's two on the back here that upshift. Both on each side do the same thing. I think the idea is that I can sort of drive in manual mode with one hand because I can downshift and upshift on the same side. Anyway, that's what they do. But yeah, I'll drop it in manual. And what I want to show you here, I want the M1. I'll just floor it. It's got a really nice sort of deep growl to it. Something that I've not really heard in a car before, and I guess that's because of the V12. But if you go really high up into the RPMs, I'm gonna go into second here, listen to this. It sounds like a, a Rolls-Royce Trent engine just sucking in air, and that is a really unique sound that I've never heard before. And I actually, I kind of like it, but, Look, we've all seen F-Spot in the US with his uh, Pagani S-Class. <laughs> JR Garage, I think we've done it on a different type of Mercedes with a V12. I just sort of, I wanna know what this sounds like straight up. So this morning I'm on my way to uh, a company called Deutsch Tech who are like a exhaust customizer or a specialist in exhaust, I think. And um, yeah, we've agreed on some sort of custom system for this by 760 Li. So uh, I'm super, I'm actually really nervous. I'm really nervous because look, I love this car for the fact that it is so quiet, so refined and, and soft and supple and a whole nother sort of long list of things. And I am very concerned that doing this is gonna completely ruin the characteristic of that car of that car, of this car. <laughs> I don't really know. I'm, on one hand, I'm hoping it's stupidly loud, and on the other hand, I'm hoping it's not, if that makes any sense at all. But look, this is gonna be a lot of fun, bless a minute. It's gonna be an absolute laugh. So let's get over there now, running a little bit late, and just see what happens. Right everyone, so we're here at Deutsch Tech. I want to introduce you to John. He's just very kindly explained to me exactly what's gonna be going on here because 
the title is straight pipe. Yep. And this is basically going to be a straight pipe as much as I can in this it's, country. It, essentially, it is a straight pipe from the cat back. So it's obviously a V12, so banked either side. You've got a twin exhaust system that eventually goes into one. So you've got two cats, which we're going to leave where they are. We're going to come to here, chop it here, put a Y piece in and convert it to a single three inch. Get rid of these two resonators, this big old resonator here and the two at the back. So you'll hear the true sound of the V12 by the time we're finished. At the minute it's muffled because of all these resonators because the car's designed to be quiet. Yeah. Double glazing, soft closed doors, everything's nice and quiet. You're doing the opposite to what every 760 Li owner does. So. I'm literally going to ruin it. <laughs> literally. How, do you think it's going to be loud? Oh, very loud, yeah. Very loud. It will be loud. Oh my God, guys, what are we doing? <laughs> Tell me the good news. Right, well it's done. Yeah. So what we've done is we've gone, so the original down pipes and cats were two and a half inch. We've stepped up to three inch Y piece and then into a three and a half inch system all the way straight oh my piped, gosh. all the way to the back. We have yet to start it, but um, I would imagine it's gonna be pretty loud. That'll be the next thing to do, won't it? it I remember I, I asked if you could continue, because basically the, the bumper on this thing, it doesn't have any exhaust tips that are exposed. So I asked if uh, you could sort of keep it that way. And that's what you've done here with this pipe that's just basically pointing Yeah, I've got it as ground. high as I can, so you can't see it from behind the car. Yeah. And it means that I don't have to mess around with changing any bumpers or anything like that. I will get that replaced very soon, that cover. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to hear what this sounds like. So yeah, that's the um, next step. Drop it down, start it up. Amazing. Looks like you've done an incredible job though, so thank you. Thank you very much. pretty needless to say at this point that I'm quite happy <laughs> with the results from my little trip to Deutsch Tech. I know that this will split opinions. Those of you who've been around for a while and watched the channel for a while 
will know that I was always going to do this. I, I mean, I was always going to do this. So for those of you that have been longing for it, I hope you're happy with the results. Honestly, I hope soon I can show you in person because it is just, well, cameras will never do it justice. It's a bit ridiculous. What also is a bit ridiculous is just driving this car in an aggressive manner. It's a bit like forcing, I don't know, Dawn French to run a marathon. She might look and sound like she's having a good time, but just really doesn't want to. And that's sort of how this thing is when you start getting on it. The gearbox is quite laborious, doesn't really want to slap through the gears. But when you do manage to get it up to the top end, this actually screams like a Lamborghini. I mean, it literally sounds like an Aventador with a 2000 RPM lower red line, if that makes any sense. It's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, we'll see how I feel about it a few weeks later down the line. There is a little bit of drone on the motorway and stuff like that. But anyway, guys, thanks so much to Deutsch Tech for doing the exhaust modification for me. It is really one of a kind. And so I'll leave all of their socials in the link below. And just on that, if you're still watching this video now and you're not subscribed, and you're one of my 90%, yes, 90% of viewers that are not subscribed, please do subscribe now. Honestly, the bigger that subscriber number is, the more of this silly stuff I can do. And believe me when I say that. Uh, also go and check out my Instagram. Lots of you aren't over there and I'm posting daily content on Instagram. So that'll be on the screen and also in the description alongside Deutsch Tech's social media channels. Um, guys, I don't really know what to say. It's sort of, I've done it. <laughs> and um, I don't regret it yet, but we'll see later on down the line. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon.